A year in the making, Chris. A year in the making. The rematch for the world title. Hattie Shokar, Tommy Gibbs, flyweight division. It'll be amazing to see how far these fighters have come in the last 10 months. It'll be absolutely incredible. Hattie Shokar fighting out of the much hail hailed and pretty much just the best gym in the world, which is BST. Like, best <laughs> physical gym in the world. Got Raymond Paul in his corner, Danny Batten. Yeah, it's such a good and gym. And Jordan Vucenich. Yeah, this is very true. I've been there, I've taken my students there for the, some like interclub grappling tournaments and things like that, and I'm just so impressed by the level. It's so, so high. They've got so many, you know, that, that, that what well, they took from a small gym in Northampton, and now it's the, the biggest gym in Europe with so many high, 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 high level fighters. And uh, they've even had fighters go on to uh, Bellator, UFC, the, the biggest stages in the world, Linton Vassal representing BST has been fighting on the biggest shows in the world. And that's all under Danny Batten and the, the super team. BST. Oh that's, yeah, baby. That's not discounting the little upstarts from Leighton Buzzard. Yeah, <laughs> upstarts, you can call them. But they've been long around this, or sniffing around for greatness. Um, Hardy Shokar, interesting that he's coming out first as he is the champion. Defending champion, Hadi Chokar. I feel like I was looking at Tom Gibbs earlier. His physique has changed a little bit, Steve. He's taking his uh, nutrition, strength and conditioning up a level. Has he ever? He's obviously taken a bit of time to. You know, gain some weight, put some size on. He's had a couple victories since uh, since the Shakar fight. So he's had a had a victory over a fly, uh, featherweight fighter from France, and he went on to the Cage Warriors contenders and absolutely went in there and smashed it up. So he's going to be looking to do the same. And he's had finishes in his last two fights, something that we didn't see a lot of a lot from Tom Gibbs. So maybe he's gotten way more confidence. I love this song. <laughs> Here we go. Hadley Chokar is raring to go. He's, he he's looks grown up. I think they since both, the last have, uh, both have been uh, on the uh, weightlifting program, doing a bit of strength and conditioning. Hadley Chokar looks lean and mean. It'll be interesting to see what Gibbs looks like as he gets into the into the ring. You see, it's a team effort there. The whole elite team is right there, standing out. It'll be hard to choose three corner men from that group. Yeah. No one's ever called me lean and mean, Steve. I get like soft and cuddly. Yeah. You gotta you gotta stay on it for years, man. Yeah. Ridiculous. I like food. Yeah. Every every once in a while, I see an ab, and then I just start eating. <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, that can disappear. But obviously, sure care. He was eating his Wheaties. <laughs> And you gotta remember, these guys spent all summer anticipating this. Yeah. They avoided the barbecues, they avoided the brews. Barbecues, all right, that's healthy. Yeah. You just gotta skip the bread and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and the potato salad. Oh, I like a bit of potato salad, that's the thing. Yeah, Gibbs looking a little thicker than before. That's what I'm saying. I think he looks a little powerful. Tommy Gibbs. Never, he's got believe on his back. Never has a tattoo been more perfectly suited to a man. Gibbs got to fight smart. Interestingly, in their last fight, I really had Gibbs winning that fifth round, even though he may have lost four in a row before that. We've seen that before with Tommy Gibbs. It was the, it was come the, on strong. It's the jabbing of Shakar that was the story the first time. Oh. Their right hand lands early. We're seeing it again, just the straight down the pipe. He's just got longer arms as well, you know. He does, and that's what he has to use. And Gibbs has got to use the opposite. He's got to get in, make it dirty, make it ugly, take him down, control yeah. the position. Shakar's striking is looking very crisp. Gibbs' chin has never been suspect. He's been tested before. Oh, lovely count of one, two by Gibbs. Leg kick, mixing up really well is Shakar. I wonder what adjustments from their previous count they're gonna make. Oh, Shakar trying to, oh, lovely, timed that beautifully. That was perfect. Landed a big right, put a little smile out of Hardy Shakar. That was the kick counter that brought him down. 
This is good. Adam Back Trump and forth. Came, came out really strong, but Tom Gibbs is just just seems to have the timing down. Oh, I wonder how he wrecked that body shot. Felt like it hurt a little bit. Great boxing from Shakar first. Yeah, the really head movement slip. by Gibbs. Really good slip. I feel like Tommy Gibbs is starting to get the read on him just a little bit. Yeah. 30 seconds, just feeding him out, getting the rhythm. I think, I think Shakar's leg kicks are, are a good key here, but he's got he definitely oh, he's respects the takedowns of Tom Gibbs. Nice head movement by Tommy Gibbs. And, I, and they're talking calls from the lead corner for him to cover the distance. He's using that head movement very well. Good jab to disrupt the rhythm from Shakar. Oh, nice. And he goes to the body again. He keeps going to that body right under the heart. Yep. Tom Gibbs as well is trying to rip, rip to the body. Another right hand lands for Shakar. Gibbs has got the chin of granite, though. Wow. What? They're both just so good at what they do. Shakar is so good at leading, throwing those nice, long, crisp rights. But Gibbs is so good at slipping and landing a counter just like that. Real beautiful, kind of complimentary styles almost. Oh, he is moving his head well, but he's eating a few. I feel like Chokhair's just had a little bit better of his round one, but just slightly, fractionally. Yeah, it just it's just a bit here. Let's see if this, this will be interesting Gibbs for Gibbs. This interesting for Gibbs if he can take the takedown. Fights in the underhook to Shakar. And he reverses the position. He's got head position against the fence. Nice. That was a good tactic by Gibbs, though, trying to get the takedown at the very end. Maybe a little bit earlier yeah. next time, 30, se 30 seconds or so. It was a very close round. That could have cemented it in judges' judges' eyes if he'd got that takedown, especially a big takedown. Didn't quite get it. I think probably fractionally round one, Hardy took care. Like I say, it's so hard to score a fight like that when one person's countering, leading off, but took care with a great body shot. Depends how you read that slip. Yep. Right? Depends yeah. Depends how you read the uh, the knock, that little fall down from and Shakar. Our, and our three judges, they all sit at different angles as well around the cage. What one sees, they might see one person get pieced up, while the other one might see that they're slipping everything. And it's very hard to score and say who's, who's having the better of it. Well, I'm ready for round two already. I'm going to clear them out in a moment. It's going to be interesting to see what kind of adjustments from Gibbs' corner and whether Shakara keeps doing some of the same old, same old, or if he's got something else in his, in his bag of tricks. He hasn't gone high with any head kicks. And he threw a couple, couple leg kicks. You see some redness on the leg there of Tom Gibbs. leg kick there it is yep jab the key to victory from Shakar takedowns the key to victory for for Gibbs they're gonna have both known that training all summer for this oh lovely shots by Shakar Gibbs is definitely powerful I want to see, see Shakir go back to that leg again, not just, oh. not just go ahead, Dante. Shakir just angled off beautifully, Ooh. and that's how he got that left hook to slip through. There was a counter right there that landed from Gibbs and snapped his head back. Oh, look at that left hook body. Come on. Ooh, good counter right there again. Shakar. Oh, his hands timing up. was so good, but Shakir's reactions were so good. Hand on the head. He's pushing him down. Head in between the legs there. Hard to finish from here, but Gibbs seems to oh, have it. Yes, dragged him to the mat. It's going to be hard to keep him down now. Now, look, isolating that leg. Khabib style, making it hard to stand up. Very hard to stand up. He's got to bring that leg back in order to get out. He's got butterflies for a moment. He's going to tie up that guard. I've seen Gibbs have trouble with, with armbar attempts before. Saw that in the first fight. Nice, he's doing a really good job of keeping pressure on him, not giving him any space to work this stand-up. 
Chakare is going to stand up now, though. Nice knee on the break. Oh, beautiful reversal by Chakare. Good head position as well. He's got one underhook. He's going to fight in for another maybe and get his own takedown. That's the thing when you've got BST, you've got world-class coaches in every combat discipline. What does Tommy Gibbs need to do here, Steve, to get off the cage? He needs to establish his head position. You see Shakira's got his head right in the neck of Tom Gibbs. Or kick him in the nuts. Well, one. that works. Yeah, that works too, but Shakira had the head position. Maybe you want, you want to see Gibbs popping that shoulder and looking for his own head position there. Gibbs is right there. He's going to make it dirty. Oh, nice inside leg kick. Mm -hmm. Gibbs has got all the tools to win right. this fight. Oh, nice. Really Shakar's got nice. to be careful co coming in there. That's the power of zone. That's the red zone. Yeah. Where Tom Gibbs can knock you out with both hands. That's where he wants to be. Tommy Gibbs wants to be in that medium range. Just a little bit shorter. Oh, you see, you see Shakar kick out his, his lead leg yeah. there. Obviously, some of those leg kicks are hurting. Well, Tommy's just kicking that calf. He's in this, this new approach to leg kicks, which is to kick the calf. Oh, no, I think he stood on something maybe sticky. Somebody's uh, bracelet Tape exploded or earlier. <laughs> Ooh, a good Ooh. second round there. Really, really even still. Really even. Possibly a round apiece now. It's very hard to score that one. It's interesting. Oh, wow. What a title fight, Steve. This is very exciting stuff. This is what we wanted to see from these guys. We wanted to see this title fight go, go full on. That's what we're looking for right now. We're looking for one of those title fights that really displays every single skill that you need in the MMA cage and it's going to be this fight it's going to be Hadi Shakar and Tommy Gibbs going after it Hardy needs to keep that range I, I, I've seen a little floor from the corner of Hardy Chokare they're getting a bit excited and they're saying they were like get on him get on him get on him I don't think that's the way the, the game that Harley took in needs to play. He needs to play range and exactly. kind of Exactly, sting and move. Sting and move. Sting and the one really big shot he landed in that round was he a couple of little flurry and a little step off to the side and then a beautiful little hook in the middle. Tom gives his nose is busted up quite bad. You are seeing it being packed there in the middle of the round in, in between the rounds there. So this will open up the jaw a bit. We saw it. Hadi land a bunch of right hands there. He goes low again, and he pops up the right hand. Tommy Gibbs, he needs to get in that so medium range and start throwing some of those bombs just like that. Beautiful, just like that. Nice, that leg kick again. There you go. Check left hook. Shakara going low again with that calf kick. Nice. Nice. I think Gibbs is the more powerful of the two. He's backing him up now. Yeah, and Gibbs is hard to read. He's mixing these body shots. Chakar doesn't know where these shots are going. Chakar needs to move now. Oh, I don't know if Tommy Gibbs is built for spinning hook kicks, but I appreciate the effort. A stiff jab lands for Shakar again. He's happy to move off, though, in those clinch positions. I'd like to see see Tom Gibbs making more out of those because he's, he's pretty much standing on the on the front foot of Shokar and he's just not getting into that takedown position that he should be. And there he eats one. He's getting boxed up pretty good right now in this third round. This is a serious fight. So backwards and forwards, so hard to score, so hard to know who's winning. Hardy Shokar is still in there, but he's got a little bit more flat-footed now. Just seems to slow down, just a touch where, as per normal, Tommy Gibbs just... Constant pressure, pressure, pace, exactly. pace, pace. Really, really constant. We're seeing a little bit different. Tommy is previously before he's been you know, kind of a more of a wrestler, but this one he's quite happy to stay in and box in the pocket. There's definitely a counter here that Gibbs is looking for. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's the step off left hook or if it's that overhand right that he just went for. Well, step inside and slip. I feel in this third round he's he's winning these boxing exchanges now. He's backing him up, that's for sure. If Shakar is stinging more. It's that jab of Shakar's that nice. is, the, is the X factor, I think, right now. Superman from Tommy Gibbs. Superman to break the, to close the distance. He's going to sprawl back. I think he's got the takedown here again. He's got his head shoved down, but he's really strong here. He's got his hands attached. His head is down really low. 
That leg scoop they did in the last round. Oh, tries kind it of again. Saved by the position of the cage almost. There's a lot of. This is. A, Shakar can. Shakar's got that. Yeah. Hikes him up here really, really well. He's got to. He's got to try to reverse this and get his good, his own good head position. Similarly, Tom Gibbs can make a bit of space and get his own head under the chin and look for a body lock takedown. Shakar is taking the head position. Shakar just seems to be there first in most of these positions at the moment. And we're in this third round here. We're at the end of those regular rounds, and Tom Gibbs looks for another takedown and gets him right into the floor again with 10 seconds remaining. Can he keep Shakar down? Shakar's going to, you know, he's got that high underhook. There we go. There we go. Third round, now we're going in the championship rounds again. Baby, this is it. Is Shakar, is Shakar fading? Is Tommy Gibbs just getting started? <laughs> All, I don't know. All's about to be decided right now. It's coming. What? An amazing title fight. It's, uh, I was hoping it would be as good as the first one, and it, it's living up to it. It really is. It's more even this time. Much more. Really hard to score. I have no idea what's going on. Yeah. I would hate to be in the judges' position right now. What's even it? that round. Even that round. I don't know. I don't know. Does the takedown win it? Does does the the strikes win it? Yep. The it's second round, and is, is Shakar's nose broken? Or was it always like that? I think it's always like that. We love you, though, buddy. No, I think it's it's so hard. I have no idea how this round's being scored. It's just it's so hard to say. Do you give it the crisp of Ranger striking? Do you give it the counters of Tom Gibbs? Are you? Do you think those ones that Gibbs is possibly slipping? Are they landing? How heavily do you score the takedown attempts or the takedown in the last round, previous from the last round? Again, took care. Just. It's just lost a little bit that movement that he had at the very beginning. Yeah, he needs to move around. He's circle to his right. Yeah, we go. take away that left hook of Gibbs. Take away the right hand of Gibbs. But Gibbs is looking to measure him up, back him into the cage, set up punches and takedowns. Oh, Gibbs looking to spin, but caught a jab. I see some of those leg kicks from either fighter again. There we go. Just a little bit tentative right now from both fighters. Yep. They both felt each other's power. Oh, Gibbs is seeing it coming and slipping easily now. Oh, both from bombs. I think Gibbs landed first there. Gibbs goes low. A little bit less of a work rate right now here in the fourth round in this first championship round. Right hand lands and it sends Gibbs spinning and looking away into the crowd. Right hand lands again. They've been calling for that backhand the whole time as BST, the Shakara corner, the champ's corner. Right hand lands for Gibbs. working out there. Tommy's doing a good job of keeping the pressure. He's fainting well and he's putting something on the end of it. Yeah. There's that there's that single single leg again. He's gonna pull it up, guaranteed. Under the chin is Shakar. He's gotta decide is he pushing it pushing him down or is he hiking him up? He's got both legs together I think. Oh nearly. Can Shakar look for the oh, almost Kimura trapped there but almost. gave up on it. This is good by Tom. He's good, putting pressure. Strong position here from Gibbs. He's controlling the cage here in the fourth round. This is going to be really tight to call. Yeah, the corner of Tom He's Gibbs calling for constant pressure. You know, I was worried about that nose of Gibbs, but you saw the um, the Lioness Cut team in there, always doing great work, always making sure that the, that our fighters are well cared for, and he seems to have no cardio problems whatsoever. But Shakar, is re he's reversed it. Good head position. Knees up the middle oh, again. That stung. Hurt, yeah. That stung. That landed right on the solar plexus there. He needs to go back into that again. Knee up the middle. Knee to the body again if he can. 
Can Gibbs steal around with another takedown? I think he can. He hasn't had the success he has with the takedowns in previous fights. You know, it's obviously Hardy Choke has been knows that Tom Gibbs wants that. He's been working his camp, constant takedown defense, takedown defense. And it's, it's paying off for him, you know. He's stuffing these takedowns. He managed to reverse position that time. That's what's putting Gibbs off. He's not starting those takedowns early enough. There we see the Lioness Cut team back in there working on his nose. That's four rounds gone. I can put two apiece. I think it's all to play for. I would agree with you. I think it's two rounds apiece. There's a random beautiful woman by the cage, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, where did the ring girl? Oh, we, we've got a ring girl. There we go. Finally, waiting for that. It's all. It's it's what is. It's who's going to react right now. It's who's going to going to put that exclamation mark on. Is it going to be Shakara's round? Is it going to be Tom Gibbs round? I have no idea. I have no idea. This is just intense right now. This is. This is all to play for. This is what Tommy Gibbs wanted. This is what Hattie, what Hattie Shakara wanted. They wanted to really ba bash it out. They wanted to see who really deserves this title. And unless there's some finish somebody can pull out, it looks like it's going to the decision, and it looks like whoever's going to be able to win this round is going to take it. Who can win this round? Yep, two rounds apiece. Possibly, possibly. Pretty much standing on each other's front big toes. Who's going to get their firstest with the mostest? Oh, nice. Good counter left hook by Tom Gibbs. Hardy with a nice stiff jab. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate the calling of BST. Very honest. And that jab. He hasn't doubled up on that jab before, Shakar, and this is a little bit of an adjustment right now. He's been throwing singles. Nice. Oh, good one. is coming forward. And he's, he's measured it. I want to see Shakara do a bit of a fadeaway right hand, but Tommy Gibbs is doing well to fade away with his left hook as well. Do that check hook. The, re the redness on the leg of Tom Gibbs tells everything about those leg kicks from Shakar. It's amazing that he's still stepping so well and moving so well. Look at that. Great head movement from, from Tommy Gibbs to avoid that. Yeah, even in round five, moving so, so well. What a great round five. Here we go, left hook lands for Shakar. Left hook to the body lands for Shakar. Has Tommy Gibbs breathing heavy. It's just both so composed. Very composed. It's <sighs> Who's gonna break first right now? One minute gone in this round. Good Shovel hook lands. Tommy's doing very well. Just leans out of range so beautifully. Hardy took his Crisp, straight striking. Tommy Gibbs and Shakira sm smile. I think they're smiling back at each other. They do train together occasionally. They do? Okay. That makes it interesting. Oh, nice right. Right lands for, for Gibbs. Jeez, this is, this is hard. One minute left. Final minute of the final round of this world title fight. Shakar is dropping his hand now. He's trying to lead Gibbs in, maybe for a counter. Hardy Chia, hands down. He's getting right, confident lands on the, the chin. last he minute. He landed on the chin there. Yeah, I think Hardy Chakir, look at hands down. He's really confident in the last minute. He wants to cement this round. He really does. They've both been standing there. It's, been, it's hard to call who's been controlling the cage. Leg kick lands. Got to look for that counter right as Gibbs, and he looks for it again. Now Gibbs is stalking him down. Had his just Got time. become a lot more relaxed in this fifth round, and now he's just picking his counters. Ten seconds, ten seconds. And Gibbs is smiling. Oh, I don't even know. What a fight! I don't even know. Wow, that was very, very close. That fight. It's hard to call. Literally, no idea. BST Monsters doing incredibly again. Wow, that's tough. That's a tough, tough one to call. Very tough to call. Three more fights to go this evening after this incredible fight of action.
It, what Ballerina Kettering has been incredible. We've seen some Norwegian monsters come over, do the Viking thing, smashing through. They arrived in their longboats and dominated. We've seen decisions. We've seen close matches. We've seen some amazing comebacks. This has been this Ballerina Kettering is the comeback show. It's definitely the best. It's been the best so far. It's the best ever. They're always the best ever. This, it's just been a night of constant action. Tommy Gibbs doing his thing as ever. Couldn't quite get the takedowns as he normally does. <laughs> but Go on. Go have fun. Go have fun. Steve is encouraging the crowd to drink more as well. Exactly. The crowd <laughs> should be drinking more. Somebody's got to <laughs> buy this, this beautiful lady some shots here. Please, uh, you could always send her some drinks. She's, <laughs> she's very sensible. That's the problem. Here we go to the judges' scorecards for our official announcement. I'm here with the still battle arena Sounds world champion, Addy Chuckett. Addy, yep. that was a closer fight this time. Yeah, it was. Um, I, I was telling, um, is it Chris, Tom's coach? I was telling James. him, yeah, J James, sorry. It was lovely work he's done with Tom on the, on, on the comeback. I mean, it's been, um, what, 11 months since we last fought? He's had two fights. Unlucky I've been, I haven't been able to find an opponent, but in that time he's got a, got a lot better, felt a lot stronger, boxing's got nicer. He's a, he's a hell of a fighter, doesn't give up, hell of an opponent. Res all respects to him, nothing but respect for the guy. You're looking like you're evolving as well. You know, yeah. you're evolving as a, well, you're getting bigger, you're yeah. getting stronger, and you're yeah. evolving as a martial artist rather than just yeah. being a striker now. Yeah, yeah, no, I feel like that. With um, the team around me at BST Academy, you know, Danny Batten, Lee Edwards, JB, Raymond, all the coaches down there couldn't excel like I do, like I've done without them. Best coaches around, in my opinion. And also big shout out to Kingsley's Boxing Club again. Keeping my hands sharp, you know, always working with them, keeping me fit, keeping me sharp. Hell, hell of an amount of good fighters down there, same as BST. I'm telling you now, Northampton, 
It's going to be put on the map soon with fucking, in terms of martial arts and fighting. Yeah, oh, man, congratulations. Cheers. Amazing you, win. I'll see you in the gym. See you in the gym, man. Yeah. <laughs> Make sure you spar on that too. <laughs> Congratulations, my man. We're going to hand back to the cage. Back to our MC, Ricky Wright.